<laughs> Can you try? Can I try? Yeah. <laughs> try That's a silly one, isn't it? Today on A Lolly Life, we are going to clean the microwave with a cup. No, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not. Tell them, say, tell them what you were telling me a minute ago. Cups can't clean microwaves. <laughs> cups can't clean microwaves. Today, this cup is going to help us clean a microwave. Okay, first thing, we are going to fill it up with some water. <laughs> that, 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 that's so silly. It is so silly. That's hot. Okay, no, it's not. It's not hot. It's just cold water. And the microwave looks a little bit dirty, but this is a kind of a fancy little tip. This is one thing that uh, they do is that they keep a, a plate in here on top of the plate. And so the part that you put your food on, if it ever gets dirty, then they just swap this out and uh, throw this one in the micro or in the dishwasher. And so that's kind of a fun tip to help keep your microwave functioning clean until you get ready to clean it again. And actually, we're gonna clean a couple of microwaves. I had a couple of uh, people that I know and love volunteer their microwaves for me to clean for this video. Let's take a look at what this microwave looks like. Because while keeping a microwave clean is a really good thing and super possible if you have all adults who are adulting in your home, <laughs> But if you have a family with like say six kids or maybe you decided not to adult one day. <gasps> yeah, this is what real microwaves look like. They really get dirty. Just that one momentary slip of adulting and ta-da, your microwave explodes or something actually explodes in your microwave and then your microwave is disgusting. It happens to everybody. Even if they like to say that it doesn't happen to them, it happens. And the food like gets dried on there and is nasty and you have to scrub forever to get it off. This is how you clean off the microwave and it's super easy. Let's go ahead and put it in the microwave. I can't step up here. Yep. Okay. Okay, shut the door and turn it on for five minutes. Can you push the five? And then the zero. Is this it? Uh huh. And that's five minutes and 50 seconds. That's good enough. Push start. Is it that? Uh huh. Okay, so the microwave beeped, and so what we're going to do now is we're going to leave it after we open and close the door so that it doesn't continue to beep. We're going to leave it for an additional three or four or five minutes, however long, until you get back to it. It can't be more than about five minutes, yeah. And so we're gonna leave it and let the steam in the microwave soften all the things in the microwave. Now we are going to go ahead and finish cleaning out the microwave. And we'll take our cup of hot water out and the plate and we actually take the the little dish out because it's easier to clean with that not in there and the hot water has basically made it so that the the stuff isn't dried on in the microwave anymore when we wipe across the microwave it basically just wipes off super fast, if I can reach it. We all know that when you make a mess, it's always easiest to clean it up right after it happens, right when it's fresh. But that doesn't mean that we always do that. Sometimes we do and sometimes we don't. That's the biggest problem with cleaning the microwave, is that we didn't clean up something while it was fresh. We let it dry 
in the microwave. Then the microwave, of course, we used it again, and so it's now cooked on dried, messy goop. And so then when you try and clean it, it just takes forever. This method of cleaning the microwave doesn't necessarily take less time than cleaning the microwave and scrubbing it with, you know, scrubbing your heart out when you clean it. However, it is significantly less work because <laughs> you softened up the food so that everything in the microwave is fresh. They're all fresh splatters in the microwave. And so the, the dish itself, you can put this in the dishwasher to wash it or just, you know, it again, because you've steamed the microwave with a cup or a bowl of hot water, it makes it so that you can just wipe it off and it's not a scrubbing job. It takes so much less time. And so this is all cleaned up and get that put back in, maybe. Yes, finally, got it put back in. And one sparkling clean microwave. Another thing that you should keep in mind as far as cleaning your microwave is if your microwave has an odor to the inside of it, because say you heated up some Indian food or you burnt microwave, or you burnt microwave in the microwave, you burnt popcorn in the microwave, which is the nastiest smell on earth. I personally think it ranks higher than dirty diapers. Like it's not good. And so, <laughs> If that is the case, add a little bit of lemon juice or vinegar to the water when you heat it up. And that helps dissipate the odors. Stick that back in there. We wiped off the outside and ta-da, another clean microwave. And with that, we have completed another episode of A Lolly Life. See you next time. Okay, what song are we doing? Oh, okay. I want an Abby Apotamus for Christmas. <laughs> Only an Abby Apotamus will do. No crocodiles or rhinoceroses. I only like Abby Apotamuses. <laughs> and Abby Apotamuses like me too. <laughs>